Big Game Al. Hello everyone. Big Game Al here. Planet Retro. Wow. Pickups video. Episode 10. Double figures. Well, who would have ever thought that at the start? And I've got some right crackers for you this week. Been splashing out. So, yeah, again, thanks everyone watching, commenting, liking, subbing to my channel. It's unreal. I literally thought I was going to have about 10 subs by now, but yeah, loads. Really appreciate it. So yeah, first up, it's a Wii game. Academy of Champions Football. Looks alright. Lovely condition, complete. Yeah, looks quite fun. Give that a go. Next up, I've been buying a few GameCube games. Trying to get that full GameCube set. First up, The Sims. Not going to talk about that because anyone who likes gaming knows what The Sims is. It's been around for years. So, yeah, picked that up recently. It's in my collection now. Here's one I don't really know much about Zoo Cube. It's like a puzzle style game, I'm not too sure. Oh, it says puzzled on the front, so I'm guessing it's a puzzle style game. But yeah, it's in lovely condition as well. I think this cost me £1 or £1.50, something. It was really cheap. I just see it when I was in CEX, so I thought I'd pick it up. I don't own it yet. Next up, it's a very rare thing I do. I actually bought a GameCube game off uh, eBay. Beautiful Joe. It looks quite good. It's all complete. Yeah, it's like a fighting style game. By the looks of it. Platform fighting style game, I'm not too sure. But it's like half the price it is in CEX. So Put a little bid in and won it. So yeah, beautiful Joe. Next up, I bought a lot of PS2 games. And I mainly just bought it for this one. It's uh, Akira Psycho Ball. Pinball game. Yeah, it's got a really, really thick manual in this. I'm not too sure why. Look at the size of that thing. Yeah, it's all complete. The other games I already had already, but I've chopped them into CEX, and I've, the money I got back covered this, so this cost me nothing. So with some of that credit, first up I picked up Devil May Cry 2. Got both discs in there, in the manual. Yeah, I've got one and three, so I thought I'd better get two. Yeah. So with me bit of credit, well first up I bought this off eBay. Donkey Kong 3 for the NES. Yeah, I think the only ones I'm missing now is Donkey Kong Maths, I'm not, I don't think. Donkey Kong Junior Maths, which is the really expensive one. It's actually coming down in price. Used to be well over £100, I think it's around about £80, £85 now. Might even be less than that, I'm not too sure, but 
Donkey Kong 3. Next up, it's a Mario game. Mario is missing. Don't know, he's missing because he's right there on the front. You can see him. I've had him already. Yeah, not too sure about this one, so I'm guessing you know, I play as Mario and you lost or you play as Luigi. I think you play as Mario because they didn't release a Luigi game until... Oh, what one it wasn't that? It's like a baseball game or something. I'm sure it's not this one. So yeah, I'll have a go on that soon. Just been picking up so much lately, I ain't had a chance to get around to playing it. Next up for the NES. Star Wars. I popped it in to make sure it worked. Played the iconic Star Wars music at the start, which is a good start. I'm guessing it's some sort of shooter game by the looks of it. Not too sure, but yeah, Star Wars for the NES. And with the new film coming out, the hype on that's probably pretty good. Next up, the Mario character I quite like. So I had to get this one. Yoshi's Cookie. Everyone loves Yoshi. Yeah, I'm not too sure what it's about. I'm hoping it's more the old style Mario type games. But playing as Yoshi, I'm not too sure. We'll give that a go. Now. Onto the good stuff. Well, say good stuff, there's only two. As you know, I've been going for a full Mega Drive set. And if you watched the video I put out on Christmas Eve, you know I was only missing nine games. Until now. So it was nine. I told you there's two left, so we're down to seven. Seven games left. First up, the last compilation I needed. Mega Game 6 Volume 3. Really, really expensive for a Mega Games title. Compared to the rest of them anyway. So what do you get on this one? You get Sega Soccer, Super Monaco GP, Columns, Revenge of Shinobi, Sonic the Hedgehog, and the first Streets of Rage. Complete. With the hang tag. Yeah. I've seen this with six different manuals. But I'm assuming it's meant to come with just the one. But you can never be too sure with uh, Mega Drive, with Sega, how they wanted to do, release it. But yeah. I had a little guy on Sonic. Because if, if you've got the Mega Drive, you know you've got to play Sonic. Should have played Streets of Rage really, but... Couldn't resist having a guy on Sonic. So yeah, lovely condition. That'll be going straight into a plastic sleeve after this video and put into the wall. And last up, game I've been after for a while, but never comes up at the price I want to pay. Always £100 plus minimum. But this one come up, I think it was 89 95 or something. Best offer. And I think, I, what did I put in? I put in like, I think I put 80 first of all, try to be cheeky. They come back with 88. So I thought, oh, I put in 84, try and meet them in the middle. They come back 85 and I accepted. So for 85 quid, Normies Beach Baver Armour. Really tricky one to get. Cartridge is falling out, but it is complete with manual. Not in mint condition, but for that price, 
I'm happy enough with it. The manual's all in one piece. The cartridge normally has all stickers all over it. This one's fine. Got a little bit of wear at the top there, but that just shows that it's a genuine artwork rather than a reprint. And it's the iconic EA Sports yellow spine. Yeah, looks quite fun. Like a little platformer game. I'll get around to playing it one day, but for now, it'll be bagged up in the wall because that's a good enough condition for me. So, seven left. McDonald Land Treasure, or McDonald Treasure Land Adventure. Onslaught. Pink Goes to Hollywood. Sea Quest DSV. Spider Man, the animated series. Super Baseball 2020. And Zero, the Kamikaze Squirrel. Spoiler alert. I bought one last night. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You'll have to wait to another pickups video to see it. So, in theory, it's six left. And who knows? Might even have some more deals lined up. Hopefully this Mega Drive set will be finished sooner than we uh, think. But yeah, two more off the list. If you haven't seen that video, go and watch it, you can see all my games. It's not the best of videos because I'm new to this. I suppose I'll do an update eventually, probably when I finish it. When I finish it, I'll do a full power set. UK release Mega Drive collection video for you. And I need to get around to doing a NES video because look at all them. There's not many left of that now. With another four off the list, we're down to I think it's around about 75 maybe. So that's slowly getting there. So hopefully this year we could see two collections complete. That's the target. Uh, also this Friday I'm going to have a PS4 pickups video because I've been picking up a lot a lot of PS4 games lately and a lot of them are like retro style 2D platformers so if you're into your retro style but you like playing them on modern on the modern consoles then get ready for Friday's video because I've had a few complaints saying oh PS4 is not retro you shouldn't put it in your retro videos but if it's a retro style game I don't see why it can't be in it but I've got so many I think, I'm up, I think I've got 15 to show so yeah that'll be coming Friday so I'll see you Friday and as always see you next Tuesday I give you my heart.